Good morning. Good evening. And good afternoon. He's Red. He's Burner. And we are talking to you from the future past thingy. Yeah, if you've seen our next video, which you probably haven't, because it's coming out later, um, basically, Burner screwed up the clip orders, so we did the second clip from Disgaea first. Basically, I record these in one long session, and then I split them in half. But when I split them, I accidentally saved the, the second half first, so we actually watched the sense of set clip one. But considering how disconnected our commentary is from the actual goings on of the screen, it's really not that big a deal. Yeah, considering last time we pretty much just talked about Hyena Dick and, um... Creepy well, Eye Eyes? Yeah. Creepy Eye Eyes, Gold Colts, and Hyena Dick. Female Hyena Dick. Yeah, yeah. Good. We're not gay. We're not talking about male hyena dick. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Oh, Harold's strolling. I can't believe the female hyena... No, let's not go back to Nightbeat, Will. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, I really like the look of this game. Like, seriously. It's, it's a very nice looking game. I mean, it's not the best graphics of all time, but it's certainly not bad. It goes for what it is. Yeah. It improves in later games. Oh yeah, that's always a good sign. Because I believe... I was actually in the stream earlier while I was recording, and um, someone in the stream went by Adele, because I guess they're another Sky fan, and someone was actually asking uh, what's the best Sky game to start off on. He recommended start off on Sky 1 since it's the beginning of the series, and I recommend it 4 since it's generally known as the one that has the best gameplay. I think both are perfectly valid. Yeah. But the person was asking about story, and I had to inform them that there is no story. That's not true. There There's is no connecting story. That's true. Yeah. Because there's only one direct sequel in the whole franchise. Die. Good job, Edna. Yeah, you took that. Build thing. a triangle. Pyramid. To be fair, an anti-idol, triangles are one of the most deadly foes you can find. God, it's been long enough to play anti-idol. This is a surprisingly good gameplay for what it was. What was it? Uh, it was an idol game. Sort of. It was also not an idol game. It was basically a conglomeration of various different games. Hmm. Yeah. Like, at its core, the gameplay is watch small number get bigger, but there's a million different ways to do it. Like, there's the battle arena, there's the races, there's the button clicker, there's all sorts of stuff. Oh, so kind of like uh, Godville's, uh, what's it, ZPG? I, I guess. Zero player game. I've technically been playing a lot of Godville as a late. Oh, let me see what level my uh, character is. My heroine, Sharada. Oh, just, do you just not play it? No, you, it's literally just watching entries in her diary. The most you can do is either encourage her, punish her, or just tell her something. That is if she listens. <laughs> it is a very funny game. I, very, I love it very much. Uh, that actually looks amusing. It is a good thing to check out my every so often. Cause let's see. My god name is Burner the Neutral. My hero is Sharada Dreamer. She's eight days at this point. Her motto is, my body is ready. It used to be there is no spoon, but I found this funnier. Oh, she joined the guild. Potato gang. Yep. Oh yeah, the ones that worship the potato gods. They became french fries and mashed potatoes for us. 3.4% of the bricks have been gathered for the, for the temple. Yep, that's her gold. Build a temple of gold in my honor. So Minecraft. Here I come. Speaking of uh, speaking of Minecraft, um, have you uploaded any, not uploaded, have you released any of the videos yet? I got my new something I've got to do today. Yeah, just do it now. Well, I'll say it for the morning. Okay. Um, you might see I've started... Wait, which one? Um, well, there's going to be three separate Minecraft series. Three? Yeah, there's my solo play series, which is me playing by myself. There's my series with Dan, which is a series with Dan. And then there's my, um, Daka Daka server of uh, Let's Play, which is going to be on the Daka Daka Minecraft server, the modded one, which is going to be either FTB Infinity Light or Dire Wolf Light. Um, and with that, I'll be collaborating with a YouTube user known as Earthshine. Have not really looked at their stuff yet. I probably should do that at some point. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So look forward to that if you're into Minecraft and into Red and Burner. Except there's no Burner. 
Eh, but having a uh, server invites on my own, so I suppose I can do a series I wanted to. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, I'm already busy enough. Yeah, uh, well, you you can't join my solo play series, because that's me. I'm me, and I'm special. You can't join the Daka Daka series, because you don't contribute to Daka Daka. What the hell is Daka Daka? Uh, it's a 40k forum. Ah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but you could join the Dan Play series. So that'll be the guy who has the resources? Uh, that's Dan's job. Well, then what do I do? Gather resources more? Or, uh, can you build pretty stuff? I build medieval stuff. Yeah. I like turrets. Yeah, that doesn't work. Um, so... But again, I have no time. Yeah, that's the trueness. That's the, the trueness? Truthness? Philip? Bueller? Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> Such a great movie. Is Ben Stein dead yet? Um, I think he's immortal. Or he's oh, so it's like, um... What's that wolf guy? Uh, Lehman Russ? No, I think the guy's last name actually is Wolf. He does, like, a lot of political talk shows and stuff. I have no idea. No, not, not Dick Wolf. Um, wait, was it King? Hold on. Yeah, this guy. Larry King. Uh, I've heard of him. I, I 1933, know still alive, age 82. Oh, he's not that old. Stan Lee's older than him. How old is Stan Lee? I think Stan Lee's like in his early 90s now. Oh, wow. He's still making uh, Marvel? Yeah, he's actually getting all his cameos done now. <laughs> he's, just, <laughs> he's just like free cameo. <laughs> yes, he, he's actually doing his free cameos now. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious, but also a great man is probably going to die relatively soon because he's 90 years old. Well, he's great in Marvel, maybe actually find the Infinity Stones is actually secretly immortal. I don't know, Stanley seems like a cool guy. I'd touch his butt. Not Ben Stiller, Ben Stein. Ben Stein, 1944, he's 71 years old. No, he's not even that old. Yeah. Not compared to Larry King or Stan Lee. I just like to check Stan Lee's exact age while I'm looking stuff up. How many seconds old is he? You want to do the math? Stanley's 93. All right. So he was born December 28th, 1922. So every... Phone, get out of pocket. I need you to calculate things. All right, so let's see. So assuming he was born right in the middle of the afternoon, that go. means... Ignore star. Hi, star. How's it going? Um, so that's 93 divided by 4 times three six whoops yeah what's okay that's three six five times four plus one times twenty three point two five um times so that's how many days times twenty four times sixty times sixty okay so he's around Uh, what's, what's E to the 9? Gosh, I'm trying to, I don't remember that. Is that, is that 100 million? I believe so. Alright, so he's 293 million seconds old about. That's still pretty young. Ah, the blessed court. <gasps> Kutsky! Ah, this is a pretty nice place. Yeah, what was the original point of them coming here again? Stealing shit. Oh yeah, that's right, because that's what they do in this game. Wait! No, 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 that, that's the point of going to Hogmiser's place. This place, they just want to make their first step out into becoming Overlord. I can't they end up all the shit. Yeah. Impartial and... What? Take everything that isn't bolted down! Take everything that <laughs> take everything that isn't bolted down. Then take the bolts. Then take again. So then take the bolts. Then take the machine that takes the bolts. <laughs> no, that was actually a funny line of what is wrong. Take everything that isn't bolted down. Then take the machine that bolts things down. Then unbolt everything. Then take everything else. A demon among demons. I, I don't know why, but I'm kind of reminded of this one webcomic where the ship is pa the pirate ship that flies is powered by drunkenness, not by booze. 
by the by the pilot being drunk. Oh, so it goes like 40k Oracle logic. Yeah, basically. For those of you who don't know, in 40k, orcs have a psychic gestalt field known as the WAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAA
Ah, uh, good old Nazis. But good old Nazis, I mean terrible Nazis, because Nazis are terrible people. Yes, but they change the world in many possible ways. At what cost? Uh, the cost, it was not really worth it, though they did do a lot about, what was it, genetics, actually learn how hypothermia works, and several other things, but not really worth it. Yeah. Well, and I wouldn't say any advances they made were things that could only have been discovered by Nazis. Go. Not only, but they did save us a lot of time considering in order to find these things, it actually does take very inhumane methods. Yeah. But anyway. Because that's the only reason they were able to find out is because they were doing very inhumane things. Yeah. Let's stop talking about Nazis. Yeah, it'll come up again eventually. We're in, the, we're in hell! True. Where's the Cyber Demon? Actually... Shh. No, they're called Gunner Demons, but pretty much the same thing, really. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so how many will die this time? You! You! Actually, just one of you. Suck butts is win! I can do it! Yes, you can! You did it! <gasps> you're remembering to attack from the butt? Oh no, you're just trying to hit two people at once. Yep, but I can't. So, do you attack him in the butt? Do you spear him in the butt with your big sword? No, I'm more patient than that. Is Fred gonna get a love? No, he's not. That guy knows to spear people in the butt with his big old sword. But you're already leveled up. And out of the way. No, that comes later. Now it's out of the way. And then finished off with hot cross buttons. Is Fred gonna finish him off? What do you think? Fred! I believe in you! You can- Oh wait, you're attacking with- Yeah, you're not gonna finish him off. With Fred. No, I just make sure he was in range. Okay. I believe in you, Fred! You can do it! With Etna's help, probably you actually can! Without Etna's help, you're fubbernucked! <gasps> I can do it! <gasps> Ah. <laughs> that was four points of damage. Thank you, Hot Cross Buttons. XP plus 12. Norse. And a Rock Fist. I didn't remember to equip that, right? Pass me, what'd you do? Looks like he did. Well, it doesn't look like it actually gives him much benefit. Yeah. Sell that cheese. I go to another little hospital. You got enough money to heal them all, just heal them all. Good job. And a dank orb. A dank orb. The orb of dank memes. What qualifies a meme as dank? Good question, I've never actually known. Because, like, does it have to be musty and moist? Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, damn, what was that line? Art, literature, ideas, they all live and die by the meme. Well, a line from Danganronpa. Well, a meme is an idea. That wasn't the exact line, but that's pretty much it. He said everything lives and dies by the meme. Who said it? Uh, I cannot tell you considering it's a character in a uh, later Danganronpa game. Well, He's I actually can't tell you since you won't even know who he is, but it's Dangarapa. I don't want to try it. Dangarapa is very hard to talk about considering it's so easy to spoil. I'm just going to assume it's Tommy Right Handy. No, no character named Tommy Right Handy unless it's in B3. The only thing we have close to that is Sonya Nevermind. <laughs> the super high school level princess, by the way. She's what? The super high school level princess. Or the ultimate princess. Ah. Uh. She's a figurehead. She does jack all. But she's still more useful than the ultimate traditional dancer. Who does less than Jack all? How is that possible? Well, when your ass is getting saved by the useless clutchy nurse, uh, that says something. Alright, 
who's gonna get made. No one, I don't think. Oh yeah. I was just debating here. what's the difference between mages, because I was thinking, I have all these skulls. I have all the skulls make mages. But then what? You know, it makes Korn's throne of skulls kind of interesting when you think about skulls like these guys. Just the throne made of all these dudes just kind of sitting there. So a Game of Thrones type thing, for as many parodies of the Iron Throne as there have been. No, no, no. The, the Skull Throne came before Game of Thrones, I think. I know, but I'm just talking about how the Game of Thrones Throne version you know, is just made up of one thing. Like the uh, Kingdom Hearts version which is made of Keyblades. I mean, that's basically what... Yeah, yeah. just made of skulls. Like this version is made of hands, version is made of... I think there actually is somewhere a version made of dicks, but I don't remember where. Why would you look that up? I didn't look it up, I just saw it in a joke somewhere. Okay. Fred, you stand over there by those triangles. While wow, Cole and Hot Cross Buns get shit done. I had faith in you, Cole. See, Hot Cross Bun knows how to do shit. It does the weirdest thing. It said he had disadvantage against ice, but it didn't really do much. I think they have different resistance stats. I'm not, I, I guess, but it, it seems like a pretty wild difference. Oh, well, Harl knows ice. He can do something. And Edna knows wind. And Charles going to Leroy Jenkins this. Leroy Jenkins! And Butts will bring up the rear. Ha <laughs> ha! I remember when a few people that consistently uses the defend option. I'm sure all people do. Not many, but I'm sure. That's hard to know because there aren't really that many in-depth disguise let's plays. Because this guy is actually a not very let's play friendly game. Yeah, a lot of grinding. Yes, I actually did the math on that because, again, I spent two hours playing and I only got an hour worth of video. And then hours worth of video was literally just one episode. So if I can keep this uh, track up, this will actually be a pretty short series. Because I do a lot of outside time grinding so I can be able to... Um... Quickly get through the actual story. Yeah. Well, there's all the post-game stuff, which we probably want to do. Yeah. Plus, um, once you get to the good grinding spots, it doesn't take as long to level people up. Yeah. Like the Cave of Ordeals 3, I think, is a pretty good one. It's got that 3x3 three three grid of Cyber Demons, or no, not Cyber Demons, the Intergalactic Space Demons. That's my response to that. These ghosts just don't want to die. Would, would you? Would you? If I were already a ghost, would I really care? I mean, you got a second chance. You don't want to waste it. Oh, uh, what was that? It was something that tried to like talk about the theories of death, that there are actually several different layers of death. If you die as a ghost, you just go to being another type of ghost. You're a ghost ghost. <laughs> and from a ghost ghost, you get good. a ghost ghost ghost. But if you die as a ghost ghost ghost, you die for real. Interesting. Oh, there go butts. Uh, let's see, yeah, there's butts. Cole, Hot Cross Buns at the top, so yep, yeah, that was Butts. Turn around and face him! That way he can't stab you in your butt! Yeah, I keep forgetting how to do that. You hold square. But don't point tell me that now. Past Burner, listen to me! Oh, I want to see the Blade Rush go down the stairs. That'd be pretty funny. Oh, you go in the healing pool. And murder that bitch. I guess everybody had their action declared. No, Shirata's still free. I think he is too. I think I saved them for later just in case something doesn't work out. Ah, smart. Here goes. 
That is a white background. Damn, he just smacked a bitch. And that's why I saved Edna and Shirata. Yes, you're going to stab him in the butt. Good. Good. No. Butt stabbing. Good. Because that's both higher ground and um, butt. Both of which help you do more damage. <gasps> you remembered! Past you listen to me! You, you forgot to attack with that, though. Oh, there was Fred. There goes Cole. What'd you do? Stab him on the side. Nope. I hit blazing and the first step blade rush. Yeah. you And dead. Punk. Dead. Prinny! Here I come! Yeah. Bonus game! Gage, Gooch, Gooch. Everyone to the healing pool. And then, ooh, hot spear on spear action. That guy's so dead. Yeah. Oh, he's with the fire. He's so dead. Go do something. Dance, Laharl, for my amusement. Oh, she's weak to ice. Guess what Laharl knows? Blazing Knuckle! Oh, he does? Yes, yes, he does. He knows Blazing Knuckle, Blah knows Love Knuckle, and I believe Sissy Lil's knows Angelic Knuckle. And that's how he gets no Knuckle move. You know, I was gonna make a comment, and I thought better of it. Go. That's one. I guess now. Yeah, it, it does happen occasionally, not often, but occasionally. Oh, how do you check today? Today is Friday, correct? Oh uh, yeah, today is Friday. D G I F, ladies and gentlemen. D G I F. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me because my schedule is all out of whack. Eh, uh, same for me, but I try to remember what day it is. Because once I lose my sense of time, I have nothing left. Have you seen my sense of humor, dude? People like it. Ooh, experience plus 12. Fred could use that, but Fred is dead. And you don't enter the Hall of Cresses till next episode. Yep, so the Hall of Cresses. Do you do anything more? Nope, you clearly do not. <laughs> I ended right there. Bye, everybody. Bye.